हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस सो बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल और येट नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल प्लीज कंसीडर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल एंड टर्न ऑन द नोटिफिकेशन सो दैट यू वोंट मिस एनी ऑफ माई वीडियोज नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द विंडोज ड्राइवर्स एंड फर्मवेयर अपडेट्स बैक एंड फ्लो सो आई हैव डिवाइडेड द एंटायर बैक एंड प्रोसेस फ्लो इन टू फेजेज The very first phase is before configuring the prerequisite, and second phase is after configuring the prerequisite. So, along with that, there are mainly three key player involved in this entire Windows driver and firmware update back and flow. The very first one is the Intune, second one is the Windows update for business deployment service, and third one is the Windows update client or the device where we want to install the. driver updates so during the prerequisite phase admin is creating a telemetry policy and deploying from the intune console also enabling the windows diagnostic data as well as the other configuring the other prerequisites once the telemetry policy deployed to the device telemetry and other setting applied and configured in the windows machine then the device sending the telemetry data and other in required information along with azure directory device id to windows update for business deployment service and windows update for deployment service save the telemetry and other information for the future reference and for the future use now after the machine is configured properly and all the prerequisites are in place admin is creating a driver update policy and admin is going to deploy the driver update policy once the driver update policy is deployed then this driver update policy is shared with the windows update for business deployment service and this service is saving the policy configuration information and use it while offering the updates now after this the windows update client or the device scan against the windows update service and perform a scan for firmware or driver updates now the device scan result which contains the applicable drivers is sent to the intune service and intune shows the applicable which is recommended and optional drivers against each driver update policy and then intune admin approves the selected driver updates and approved driver list is sent to the windows update deployment service now at this point of time windows update for business deployment service save the approved driver information and use it while offering the updates now in the next step windows update client or device again scan against the windows update service and perform a scan for firmware and driver updates now this time the windows update for business deployment service provides the list of approved update to the device then device will install the drivers and reboot the system and the machine is rebooting as per the policy configured in the updating settings once the device is up device will send the status to the windows update deployment service via telemetry and the windows update deployment service will send this information to the intune for reporting purpose i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video